Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon with Taylor's Fire Smoke Cooking. Welcome back into my kitchen. Today we have a very simple recipe or a simple dish that we're going to do. We're going to be making a classic chicken salad. Uh, this is a very simple chicken salad. Now, it's summer as upon us. It's starting to get hot outside and you may not always want to heat up the kitchen making a quick meal. So this will do the trick. Also, the way we're making it is super healthy. Uh, not a lot to it and it's gonna taste good. So you guys stick around. Let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so here's our ingredients. We have a couple cans of chicken breast. I know rotisserie chicken, or if you made your own chicken breast, it'd be better. But again, I said, this is a quick recipe. So this is going to work just fine. We have coarse grind black pepper, sea salt, granulated garlic. I'm using a little spicy brown mustard. And we're using sandwich bread. I'm not a fan of mayo, so I'm uh, opting for sandwich bread. But if you don't like sandwich bread, then quite naturally, you can use mayonnaise. Then we have a little red onion and some diced up, finely, finely diced um, green peppers. All right, so we have our chicken breast in our bowl here. And you can see how it comes out in chunks. So you do want to just break that up there a little bit in your bowl prior to mixing. And you don't want it to be super fine, but just kind of break up those bigger chunks that you have there. And this is going to go quickly. Now, you know, I know a lot of people make their chicken salad numerous ways. Some people use walnuts and apples, raisins. Some people do dried cranberries and grapes. We really don't like all that around here. At least I don't and my kids don't. So again, this is just a very basic chicken salad recipe. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna put in about a half a cup of our sandwich spread to start. And a couple tablespoons of our spicy brown mustard. This is kind of potent as far as flavor. I like more of a tang to my chicken salad, but if you're not a big fan, then quite naturally you don't have to put as much in there. We're gonna go in with our bell pepper and our red onion. This will provide a nice little crunch and refresh, uh, a freshness to the chicken salad. And give it a mix. So if there's things that you don't like that we just put in, like the bell pepper or the red onion, you can omit it or substitute it. I know some people also use jalapeno for a nice little kick. It's totally up to you what you want to do with it. And the amount of salad dressing or mayonnaise or whatever, it's kind of up to you too. I like mine a little on the drier side, not super overly uh, dressed. But again, it's, it's kind of versatile and you can kind of do what you want with it. We're going to season it up with a little granulated garlic. We're going to hit it with some of our black pepper heavy black pepper for us and we're going to hit it with a little bit of our sea salt definitely need to season it up and give it a good mix let me know down in the comments if you eat chicken salad or how do you prefer your chicken salad chicken salad is not tuna you're not going to be putting eggs in there and stuff like our relish it's a little different and from the consistency, I do want to add just a little bit more of our salad, our, of our sandwich bread. All right, another couple tablespoons of that. Give everything a good mix. Then we're going to go ahead and taste it. The consistency is where I want it. Again, if you like yours a lot more creamy, uh, then go ahead and add more of your sandwich bread or mayo or whatever you're using. Do you see how it's looking? Nice and moist. Holds on to the fork, kind of like how I like it, and we're just gonna give it a taste. That's good. That is delicious, just like it is. Only thing I will add, I'll add a little bit more black pepper, because I like to have that peppery note. A little bit more of a mixy mix and we're ready to rock. So that's it guys, that's, it's just that simple. Again, you didn't have to heat up the kitchen, eat this on bread or with crackers, 
put it on a board if you're having a party or having a gathering and it's going to hit every single time so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell till the next time god bless you you'll see you around